ask you this. There is one thing that's squarely within your realm, and that is the question of a weaker dollar. In 2000, we ran a budget surplus. Ever since then, the federal government has been running up larger budget deficits. We added to that a $1.6 trillion tax cut and a $700 billion war that would generally contribute to larger budget deficits. And if you look at that and you look at the twin deficits of both trade and the budget, in combination you have a low and with a low domestic savings rate, you have all of the makings of a weakening dollar. In 2002, the barrel of oil cost $23 and 23 euros. Now it costs, well, the chairman had even a higher figure than I had. I had 145 and 90 euros. I'm sure it just changed overnight. Do you agree with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and others that the weakening dollar has contributed to the higher price of oil as an elemental part of our challenge? I do agree, and I said so in my testimony. It should be noted that the decline in the dollar from 2002 reversed an appreciation of the dollar that took place from the early 90s until that point, and it's related to the dynamics of our trade deficit, as you alluded to. In the late 90s and early 2000s, strong capital inflows drove the dollar up, but that made us less competitive and created a trade deficit. Some of that had to be unwound to bring us back towards a better balance of trade, and in fact, we have been seeing considerable improvement in our balance of trade as the dollar reversed that increase. But we also import a lot of oil, and because we import it when oil prices rise, that also works in the other direction. It tends to hurt the dollar. So there's really causality going in both directions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Does a budget deficit have any effect on the value of the dollar? Perhaps a weak effect, but I don't think it's a first-order effect. The linkage between the budget deficit and the trade deficit is there because the trade deficit does reflect our national savings and investment imbalance, but empirically, the effect is relatively weak under most circumstances. And the value of the dollar is devalued by about 40 percent. Is that correct over the last four or five years? No, I think it's more like 25 percent. And again, it has reversed a considerable appreciation prior to that peak in 2002. Are you comfortable where the dollar's value is now? I'm looking for the economy to strengthen next year, and as it does, I think that will support a strong dollar going forward. Thank you.